What's up guys, Burns here, and today I'm showing you how to get better at Halo Reach in three easy steps. Now, I'm not that good at the game, but this is just basically if you're terrible and you want to go positive. Um, I don't claim to be good, but this is just what helped me and what will help you guys. So the first thing you want to do is search for the SWAT playlist. For you guys that don't know what SWAT is, if you've never played it before, um, it's 4v4 and it's first to 50. It relies a lot on teamwork. You need a good team. You can't one person can't just carry the team, unlike COD. Um, and it's one-shot headshots, and the only guns you have are a DMR rifle and a Magnum pistol. So the one-shot headshots means precision and timing and accuracy is everything. Um, there's also a variant when you search for SWAT called you could get SWAT Magnums, and that's where you can only use the Magnum pistol. You can't use a DMR. So what we're going to focus on is um, timing your shot because in SWAT your time is everything. You can't be just going bang 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 like Call of Duty. Halo is a completely different game compared to COD and precision and timing and accuracy again is everything that you will need to be good at the game. Okay so step two is know your DMR. It is your assault rifle. Um, also know your pistol but mainly your DMR. You want to use this because it's a lot stronger. Um, and just a quick general tip, if you shoot them in the body once with the DMR in close range and then you whack them with B melee, then that will also kill them instantly, that's called a two-piece. So you gotta know your DMR, you can't just again shoot quickly, you gotta know how much bullets you got left, what, how accurate it's gonna be, what the hip fire reticle is gonna be when you switch out to it and all these things. So first of all, do not spam the DMR. Um, a lot of COD players make this mistake when they first come to Halo, and it's really slow. The rhythm's got to be right. It's just going to be a pop, pop, pop. It can't be pop, pop, pop. So you, I'll show you some clips here. I've got a few, quite a few examples for you guys um, as I run down and see. See, I'm shooting too quick. I should have took my time and waited for him. So unfortunately, he's going to get away as you see me running around here and this is another example see I'm going bang 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 and the red so high and then one shot and that's all you need just take your time and unfortunately I get killed there uh, for the next example you will see I'm using the magnum and see <laughs> I'll zoom down sight so I should just stop and um, I do end up getting the kill here but look how much time it takes and then you get shot and whacked in the back so just take your time, accuracy is everything. So like being a sniper in real life, you gotta take your shot and make sure you get it. Revenge. See how I just kill zoom in joy. and then get the kill? That's what you guys wanna do. Another big tip for you guys would be hip firing. Um, with the DMR especially, this is more effective at close to medium range. Um, and a map like Countdown, 90% of the time, it actually is close to medium range. So you'll see me using the DMR here. It's after this clip. Get one, two, and look, and the hip fire red cool is really small, so it's perfect. That's like yoink the kill there. So, what should I do with the hip fire? Unfortunately, I get killed here. But you guys are gonna know that um, hip firing. You know, you don't want to do it too quickly. And when you hip fire, if you haven't been shooting at all before, it, then it's gonna be extremely accurate and a lot more helpful than aiming down sight as you see me get another nice kill there and this is actually a hip fire I zoom in and then zoom out and no scope slash hip fire him um, and again you don't want to be going too quick but hip fire if you are spamming the trigger is easy to use although I do not recommend it and see you just wait you go pop and then pop and you get the, you'll always get the kill as you see me running here with the magnum and see I'm spamming and I just wait wait for him to come out, pop him in the head that's all you gotta do so the third and final step is most arguably the most important uh, know your map map knowledge as you would know from Call of Duty um, you've gotta know where you're running why you're running there, where the hotspots are and where everyone's gonna be on the map so your opening route this is basically when you spawn in where you wanna run, where you wanna go and get all your kills as you see me spawn at the start of the game, I go down, and then I don't just run straight up. I'm running across, and rarely ever, rarely ever will anyone suspect these um, airlifts. It's the other ones that are more 
common and people always think about. So just think about that, guys. Don't don't always try and take the most obvious opening route. You know, try and vary it up, and you'll often pick up a kill, as we'll see in a minute. As I get him, he gets me as well, so good play to him. Next tip is map hotspots. So this still comes up with map knowledge. you got to know where everyone's going to be on the map on countdown. It's these two airlifts right here and the two doors there. Kill. So we get some nice kills there. I'll replay this will, I'll replay a clip again. But Yoink. you just see how I'm probably not in the best spot right now. See, this is why I died. You can't stay in the hotspot for too long. It's better to linger around the hotspot and hover around it so that Everyone's running there and then oblivious to you. You're just, you know, in a quiet, secluded space and you just go and pop, kill, pop, kill. And you get heaps of kills from that. So you see, again, he's there at one of the most common places. And then spawn down here and I get another kill. Okay, so next tip is map awareness. Barrel jumps and lights, lines of sight, sorry. So you see me get a barrel he kill here. It's similar to, you know, the red barrels in Call of Duty? Well... These ones are green and sometimes yellowy orange in the containers. You can see me get the kill there. So you gotta have good awareness to know. Um, for jumps, unfortunately, there's not really any to this map, but you know, jumping on top of spots that aren't common and people won't expect to find you, that's how you're gonna get kills. Um, as a map awareness thing, see line of sight. I knew that I couldn't shoot them through the wall, so instead of wall banging, you can just shoot through there. Next tip is uncommon routes. So this is again what I've been saying. Spawn here and you don't always want to be just rushing up airlift to the top. You come around here and look at that, there's someone up the top on the bridge. Miss the first shot, take my time and get the second. So again you want to be avoiding the airlifts and elevators to main hotspots, not all airlifts and elevators. But you'll see me here as I get popped there, so I'm running out in the open. You don't want to run it out in the open, like just like in COD, same in Halo. And the next clip will play. I run up here again, and see, people always camp these elevators. So similar on reflection as well, the elevator lift thing. Um, try not to be there. And again, if you're here, you can't stay around forever because if you linger around too long, you're gonna get killed, guys. So what have we learned today? Let's recap. You got to time your shots. You got to linger around the hotspots, so stay around, but don't be, you know, too obvious. Don't take airlifts or elevators to hotspots. Know your map well. But most of all, just have fun, guys. Um, if you follow these tips, I guarantee you, in time, it will make you a better player at Halo. Um, you know, it took me a while. I was maybe a 0.5 KD player, and now I'm a 1.3. Now, I don't, I'm don't. i not claiming to be good at the game, but I'm going positive. So, you know, that's better than your average player basically so you know that's just um I'm not teaching you how to be like an MLG pro or anything I'm just saying you know this is if you're a gamer that wants to play Halo and you're not too good you're having trouble converting but you do want to get better SWAT is the best and the principles you learn in this you can convert to other Halo playlists as I fail there it was so close though so yeah, in Team Slayer and all that, if you use these basic principles, I guarantee you will become a better player at Halo. And guys, if you like the video, can you please give it a thumbs up? As you see, an awesome thumbs up picture there. Um, it really does help. I spent so much time on this video. If you could please like it, thumbs it up, that would be great. And if you want to see more videos like this, just click the subscribe button, either above or hopefully I'll have an annotation there. So if you could please subscribe and like the video, that would be awesome, guys. Um, other than that, I'll see you guys later, and have a good day, guys.